So, so far uh, I'm writing for here a web image checkpoint. How we write in a web text point, right? Same thing, web underscore image. Web image underscore check. This is the function. For here, we need to give for the name of the parameters. Some image I'm giving. Okay. After that, comma. And we need to give for the uh, is this the image code and give for the last. This is the syntax. For in double colon test, what we can do means we need to go to the that page. This is page, right? After login only, right? I'm taking so Jojo and B. So after login, this page we need to validate for the image verification. Image nothing but this the HP is a image and web two title also may be image. So we have the different different type of images will be there. So we need to take the images means. Uh, we need to click on here right button and uh, page web source is there view source everyone able to see hello yes sir. yeah everyone able to see right view source you need to click on view source and uh, for here in view source everyone able to see right for here is uh, image means like this it will come like uh, some uh, SRC is equal CGA bin welcome PA sign up true is there right so this this type of things we can call it as the image for this page we have that two is there SRC is equal header HTML one is the image and one more is what is that this is also one of thing so you need to copy this entire thing up to here go to script here you can place here control v and uh, same thing we need to give for the here double colon does not know for the here so you need to give for the slash and if anything will be there you need to give for here also one more slash then now you got it right how do i take in src is equal some dot jfa it will come so it is a image verification point means we are giving for the image path then after that, execute. You can now start due to the compilation error. <laughs> Okay, the semicolon is missed, right? For each one, semicolon also important for us. Okay. This is while well, see the error, you need to identify okay, where it is error. Some syntax error means it is missing for the colons or comma, so these things. Now we'll see for the output is a image is a password or not in a check. See, everyone able to see web image checked started and web image successfully done. Okay. We can directly also we can enable in web image and the text verification points in runtime settings also in runtime settings, preferences and checks. We want to enable directly, no need to uh, give for this one. Directly go to the year in preferences will be there. Uh, in preferences, everyone able to see right. Enable image and text checkpoints. 
you can check this one if you want okay otherwise no need for you can uncheck so like this we can do for the image verification point everyone is fine image verification point so we need to keep yes, every page done. also we need to keep means each and every image where point why we are keeping uh, image or text or anything means to validate the response in this page correct response we are getting or not we can do for the different ways like uh, using for the text verification point image where point http status codes so based on that we need to validate that we are getting for the correct page or not fine right Hello. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, Preview date, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, this is for the validation points. So then we are moving to the recording options. In recording options, we need to know for the each and every options because we are everyone putting for experience, right? So then each and every option we know what is our recording and what are things will be there in script, what are things will be there in protocol, what are things will be there in code generation and configuration and rules and advance and mapping and filter and chain configuration, code generation. So each and every option we know for. And if you ask for the what are the recording options, means you need to tell all this recording, scripting, protocol, code generation. And recording, what are there? So in recording, when we record the script, uh, we have the when we record as a HTTP HTML, we'll get for the HTML URL based. So HTML based in advance, what are things will be there? Web web URL, web submit data, web submit form, and do not record and record within the current script will be there. So each and everything we know. And after that, URL mode also there. So you can go to the URL mode. You can check the web saw custom request. So click on OK. Then it will generate as a web custom functions also. So when we switch to the HTML to URL mode means my application will be there. In that application, what happen means keep on changing for that page. Maybe they are changing for the some drop downs. Uh, in drop downs, actually, 10 values will be there. But after one hour, it is showing as a 15 values. And after evening, it is showing as a 20 values. So as same to like this, it will be changing for the different, different way for that application. So at that time, what will happen means so using for the HTML based script to be on do for the scripting because that is a keep on changing for that application. So at that time, what we can do is we can move for the HTML to URL mode and check for this one, web custom request. So what is the difference between HTML based script and URL based script means in HTML based script, we can record the user actions only, but in URL mode, we can record the user actions along with the server side resource also. Okay. So it's a HTML advances. What is means uh, easy to maintain the script easy to do the correlation and less number of dynamic values generated, less number of lines of code will be generated. But in URL mode, it's difficult to understand the script and uh, use number of lines of code will be generated and use uh, correlation for dynamic values will be generated. This is the difference from the HTML URL. If anyone asks for this type of questions, okay, they will ask, okay, what are the recording options? you told as a recording in recording when you record http html right what are the modes we have the html url mode. what is difference you need to tell this all things okay got it right yes sir so yes, sir. this is a, then going to the scripting part this is the just options only we need to check and this is a protocol which protocol we are selected this is the protocol and uh, this is a code generation we need to auto correlation we are done right auto correlation happen means we need to check for this is the correlation snail then only it is auto correlation values will be displayed this is the uh, runtime security uh, uh, record organization configuration details like in record scan replace scan rule scan and uh, in the api used correlation functions what are the functions will be there web break say param ex and web break say param reg exp so when we are doing autocorrelation time, it will see this type of 
web break separam ex web break separam reg exp right so after that uh, in rules rules already we see right auto correlation point of view we need to create rule means new application new rule and after that we need to give for the left bound right boundary and we need to import also will be there export also will be there and advance in advance we need to check for these options like we want the generate uh, text verification point means we need to check the before recording you need to check these things and we want to the web ad cookies so if you want you can you don't want you can know it you want to headers also you want headers you can check the headers if you don't want headers you know need to check the headers and mapping and filtering mapping and filtering already we know right socket level we need it and socket level when we go with the socket level means all web based application we can go with the socket level all windows based applications we can go with the uh, vnet net level sometimes we are unable to record the script then we can select both also socket level and vnet level and the same to the your options also is there in the options we have the some socket level options will be there tls 1.0 tls 1.2 1.3 ssl 2.3 2.x 3.x so uh, this is the based on application sometimes what happens our application we are unable to record the script actually client they are using for the tls so uh, 1.2 but i keep in 2ls 1.0 then that is why i am able to record in the script so i check with the team and uh, i am able to record in the script because i tried in uh, soccer level vnet level and i tried both also but unable to record in the script so i am using for the socket level option is a tls 1.0 then they will notice as okay we are using for our application in client location it is running with that tls 1.0 1.2 so you can check this to ls 1.2 and try to record so at that time i recorded successfully this is happen in real time for me okay so if it is a uh, scripting challenges you need to tell this answer also i unable to recording the script i tried many ways like socket level vnet level and i changed for the browser settings and everything i done but unable to recording finally what happened means uh, is my application they are using for the socket level option is a tls 1.0 then i put for the tls 1.0 then i able to record the script got it right Yes, yeah, Shira. Only Shaker only responding. Remaining, uh, no one is responding. Why? Everyone needs. Okay, next Listen, table configuration. Next code generation. Uh, this will be headers, cookies. One means we need select. For this, we can't use anything. Okay, so these are things will be very important for us. Everyone understand, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> so today I'm stopping up to here, and tomorrow will be interview section uh, for as of now how syllabus like uh, we are completed starting onwards. What is perform testing? What is load and architecture components? And uh, PT life cycle correlation parameterization properties types and checkpoint uh, text verification point image verification recording options. And everything will be tomorrow interview section. Tomorrow only interview section, no class. Because I don't know okay. if everyone is preparing or not, I don't know. And as same to interview section, and as same to everyone, I will give for the one scenario. Everyone record and do the correlation and parameterization and verification point. Tomorrow I'm free, and everyone, I, everyone will be able to record and show me in front of me only. Then only we can go with the next syllabus. Otherwise, we'll be here only. Everyone fine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. So that is why I'm giving time to today. So today also Saturday only, right? So you guys can prepare well and practice also do it same time. Okay. Okay, sir. That's it, my sir. Do anyone have time. any doubts? Sir, tomorrow also same time? Yes, same time. Okay. Timings will change means no one will attend. Okay, sir. 
okay tomorrow everyone come to uh, breakfast do and come because everyone will be record script to do the script nms in front of me only i will give for the one person is a correlation uh, uh, section id i will give for the one person is a uh, departure i will give one person area and one person i will give for the uh, like so each one i will give for the different different one but each and everyone definitely do for the one like uh, parameterization and verification point everything because uh, we are ending the script already we covered uh, web functions cellar functions uh, so everything i will ask okay and i will do for the uh, give for the assignment for everyone so fine right yes sir yes sir okay then good to close uh, bye everyone happy weekend Thank uh you. -huh.